Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm happy to share with you my boxed Atari 2600 Activision releases. Holy cow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> there was 44 games released in North America that I counted using lists on Atari Mania and Atari Age. And those are great websites, by the way, for uh, collecting an Atari. It's, it's amazing how much information is out there for free. So anyways, uh, this has taken years to compile. I want to thank uh, some YouTube fans and, and viewers and patron supporters. And uh, uh, Bill Logan, thank you so much. He kind of provided some of the heavy hitters in this collection. And uh, I'm really excited. Brandon Pierce recently just sent me my final game of the set was River Raid 2 and and he he saw in my video I didn't have a box copy of it and sent a sealed copy to me so thank you so much so here it is Atari 2600 North American game collection all boxed in one shot let's check it out all right here it is uh, I count 44 games released in North America with boxes there are some variations that it's important to note so these are uh, one version of each Activision 2600 game released in North America in alphabetical order or close to it and so up here we'll start up here Decathlon, Barnstorming, Beam Rider, Boxing, Bridge now you notice Bridge and Checkers they have this like black stripe on the boxes and so these are part of the original Activision releases in 80 and 81 and I got this information from Atari Mania and he lists 10 10 that had this black stripe and the full game list is Boxing Bridge Checkers Dragster Fishing Derby Freeway Kaboom Laser Blast skiing and tennis that had that on there so chopper command commando a very hard one to get cosmic commuter it was uh, you know a late release crackpots dolphin sorry about the camera here <laughs> double dragon Dragster, Enduro, Fishing Derby, Freeway, Frostbite, Ghostbusters, Grand Prix, Hero, Ice Hockey, and Kaboom. Now let's talk about ice hockey here. There are several blue cart variations, um, and there's a lot of variations in general of these boxes, but uh, an important note is that Ice Hockey has a major label variation and there's a light blue and then there is the dark blue box and this was again a late release re-release and if you look on the back here it has a sticker and I've talked about this on another uh, video I've done and this is the blue cart variation but there's a ton of these blue carts out there that's a that's a separate video but I wanted to talk about that kaboom such a classic now let's talk about keystone capers keystone capers there and what's cool about my box there is it is signed by Gary Kitchen I met David Crane and Gary Kitchen several times at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. One of the cool things about going to a show like that is you can meet some of these uh, developers of these games. And uh, that's something that's a prized piece of my collection for 2600. Kung Fu Master, Laser Blast, Mega Mania, Wink, Pitfall 2, and my Pitfall, which was one of my first boxes I got in my collection way back in the day and it is signed it's signed by David Crane had a, had dinner with him it was pretty awesome got to talk about some crazy 2600 stories and black attack 
pressure cooker private eye rampage again some of these late release ones like private eye and pressure cooker you know you can probably find some of those on eBay you just have to, they're just they weren't widely as produced as some of the other classics River Raid and River Raid 2 um, a friend came over and he was excited because he's never seen uh, a River Raid 2 box and what do you notice is that I kept the original price stickers I love that um, a lot of these retail stores you know are no longer around and um, I'm not sure if Zellers is still around or not it may be but uh, we don't have them around here and so uh, River Raid 2 is one of those late releases it came out I do believe in the late 80s and that's the type of stuff that I love collecting it's historically important you know a lot of people when especially when they sell the second hand they'll take the original sticker off because you know typically at yard sales and stuff you weren't selling it for you know 40 bucks or what uh, 35.99 and so I think it was uh, it's important that people collect and keep these original stickers on because that might be the last thing left of these department stores and again uh, I did receive this game from Brandon Pierce I want to thank him and I want to say some of my heavy hitters like Cosmic Commuter and uh, several several other boxes were uh, donated by uh, Bill Logan so I want to say, say thank you to him and uh, Robot Tank, Sequest, Skiing Sky Jinx, Space Shuttle, Spider Fighter, Stampede, Star Master, and Tennis. And there you have it. And uh, real quick on Tennis, I want to show one variation of kind of the differences that you can find. And Tennis is... That's the uh, one with the black label right there. Or original release of tennis and then this is one that doesn't have it this is just another box in my collection and again I hope that helps people collect 2600 or interested in in uh, pursuing a subset it's not impossible again cosmic commuter is is kind of the really tough one it's it's kind of a, a bummer that uh, there's always seems to be one in a collection that's really difficult, but uh, it's still a lot of fun, incredibly a lot of fun to collect, and that's what it looks like if you're if you're in the U.S. Um, also to note, there's uh, there's a couple different major box variations. There's a smaller box variation of Ghostbusters. So there you have it. What did you think? You know, Activision's been around a long time. They've made some great games over the years. You know, uh, sometimes they've they've become controversial recently with, you know, just the, the Call of Duty series. Are they as good as they used to be? You know, one thing's for sure, they're still making a ton of money. They are a large, large game company. And the cool thing is about the newest uh, Call of Duty, you may not be a fan of it, and that's okay. But uh, if you go to uh, the R and R section of the uh, Call of Duty headquarters, you can play some of their 2600 classics, which I think is awesome. Um, there are also some Magic games in there that they have the rights to. So, anyways, I uh, wanted to share that that you can play some of these games if you own a copy of Call of Duty World War II, and uh, it's pretty sweet. So, anyways, thank you so much. I, I hope you enjoyed this collection video. Look forward to doing a lot of these other um, subset views showing off, you know, all together what does a, a box subset look like. And it's a lot of fun. You know, for me, I'll never have every 2600 game. There's some that are just way out of my budget. But I was excited to uh, compile this subset collection. It's so important. You know, Activision to me is. A, a wonderful subset to collect for there's so many great games and what's cool is there's a lot of compilations out there uh, if you if you don't collect 2600 there's a great Game Boy Advance a compilation cart there's also a PlayStation 2 and there's some others as well but those are those are some some great uh, ways to experience Activision and their and their classic 2600 titles also and I, and I never received it, so I'm kind of bummed I wanted to show this on my channel. Uh, the Atari Flashback 
uh, Activision edition. And so, you know, I, I wanted to show that on my channel, but I never received it. I'm still waiting shipment, but uh, hopefully one of these days I'll be getting it. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm still doing three videos a week. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.